Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. I don't have my joke book, unfortunately, because today's video, we're going on an adventure. Yes, we are going book shopping, but not just any old book shopping. We are gonna try to make this more of a challenge. <laughs> um, so basically, I have a favorite used bookstore in South Bay. It's called Recycle Books. There's a location in Campbell and there's a location in San Jose. And at this location, you can sell books to the used bookstore. And they give you two options. You can either just like take some cash that they give you uh, for the books that you're selling to them, or you can get credit for only used books in their store. And I know this because I made the mistake before. <laughs> I sold books to them once and um, I like was like, okay, yeah, I'll take the store credit. And then I showed up to the front of the counter with like a bunch of new books and they're like, oh no, actually those don't count. Imagine my embarrassment. Anyway, um, so a few months ago, like back in November, I think, I did a book unhaul, and my plan was to just drop them off at the library, right? There's a library like five blocks from my house. Love it there. Was just going to drop it off. Um, but unfortunately, because of COVID, they're not accepting donations right now. So I'm still going to donate most of them, but I thought for this video, it would be fun to take a stack of them. I have like 15 books that I picked out and sell them back to my used bookstore and then see how many used books I can buy at the bookstore. Um, so yeah, it's going to be some book shopping while also like unhauling and then also rehauling. And I hope it's fun. I... <laughs> I think it'll be fun. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So first things first, we've got some books that I'm unhauling. I'm not going to talk through every single one, but some of the books I'm unhauling are my full set of The Hobbit and then the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I'm also getting rid of Final Girls, All the Missing Girls, One Day in December, and then The Two Lives of Lydia Bird is somewhere in this bag. So I was really just going through my unhauled books and was picking ones that I thought my used bookstore would want based off of all the times I've been in their bookstore and I've seen their inventory and I feel like these are books that they'd be interested in. So I'm gonna go to the bookstore now and see what they will buy from me. And then at the end of the book shopping trip, I will meet you again. I don't know if I'll be in this car, if I'll be in my house, but I will meet back up with you and tell you how much store credit I got and then show you the books that I picked up. So, hope you like this video. Let's go to the bookstore. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm gonna take a quick pause from the book shopping and tell you about the square spacing. Yes, that's right. Um, something I love. Now, I've told you all about the templates. We all know how much I love a good template. Um, but something else I love about this is the sell anything tab. You can go down here, you can click sell products. Now, I'm not spoiling anything, but, um, I might be interested in a s certain sphere of uh, creation, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, there's this really cool tab that helps you understand the selling functionality on Squarespace and how you can sell your own products, how easy it is, inventory, shipping, all of the things. Um, it's just really awesome. So that's another reason why I love Squarespace. So if any of this sounds interesting, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Noel Gallagher to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, everyone, I am here now. Well, right now I'm in a parking garage, but I'm about to be in the bookstore and I'm not going to talk through the next portion of book shopping because I don't know what it is about recycle books, <laughs> but like no one talks in the bookstore. <laughs> um, and if they are, they're whispering very, very softly. So I, I'm alone and I have a camera and I have a mask on and I just don't want to be like, all right, camera, I'm, I think this one might be good. Um, so I'm just not going to talk through the next section. I'm just going to add some B-roll of Campbell, like downtown Campbell, um, the bookshop itself, the books that I'm picking up. And then at the end, of the book shopping portion, I will then tell you how much I got in store credit and then what I bought, like what used books I was able to pick up. So yeah, enjoy this little B-roll section. I'll try to get a lot while I'm in there. <laughs> um, I've already had to stop recording this clip twice because people have walked around me um, in this parking garage. So a little, a little nervous, but um, we're gonna see how this goes and I hope you like this B-roll footage. Here we go.
Hey, yeah. I noticed that I clench my jaw really bad when I have my mask on. Um, oh my God. <coughs> um, I don't know what it is, because I'm not angry about wearing a mask. I don't know if maybe I'm just tense or something, but my jaw always hurts really bad. Okay, I got quite the book haul, but I'm gonna stop at my PO box on the way home and I might have a few books there. So it'll be kind of like what I picked up at the bookstore. And then if I got any books, my PO box, which I'm really excited to check out, then I can talk about those too. So I hope I got some interesting B-roll footage because I, I don't know, there was like four people in there at first. So I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. But then I also felt like that meant that if someone was walking past me, they like would have really noticed my camera. In any case, I'm just, at this point, I'm just blabbering. I am going to go now. Let's do this thing. All right, hello everyone. I am back from the bookstore now. I, okay, well, hold on. I stopped by my PO box because I was waiting for a book from a publisher and it came today and that is Felix Ever After. Um, so thank you so much, Faber, for sending me this book. I am so excited. I'm seeing everyone talk about it. And so I'm so excited to get to it. And I love that I got a slightly different cover than I've been seeing around. So this is the cover that I've been seeing everywhere, which is an amazing cover. It's amazing. I love the flowers. I love the orange. I love the yellow. Um, but I just thought it was cool that I like got this slightly different version of it. Maybe this is really popular somewhere else, but at least from what I've been seeing online, it's always been the other cover. So anyway, I thought that was really cool. So thank you so much Faber for sending me this book. Okay, so for the used bookstore, let's talk stats. I turned in my books and they took most of them. There's like five, five that they didn't want, which is fine, but they offer, offered me either $20 in cash or $40 in store credit, which you can use towards used books. So I bought five used books with that store credit and then I bought one new book. So let's go through the used books first. First, we have Euphoria by Lily King. This is by the same author that wrote Writers and Lovers, which was one of my favorite books of 2020. Um, and then one of my friends, Kendra, who runs the podcast Book Dumb with my other friend, August, she read this in January, I think. And she, I think she gave it a five out of five. She said it was amazing. And since I already loved the first book I read by Lily King, I can't wait to get to this one, especially since Kendra said it was so good. I think it's gonna be amazing. So really excited for this one. Next, I actually already own this book, but I own the like movie edition where it has like the movie cover on the front. And so I repurchased The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo because the other two editions that I have match this spine and I wanted them to all look the same on the shelf. That might be silly, but I've always been really drawn to this version with the yellow and the orange. So um, I'm going to be unhauling my other copy and then that's, I mean, I bought this copy, so that's it. I also really wanna reread this series very soon because it's been like 10 years. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Wow. <laughs> That is shocking, actually. All right. Um, wow. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'm gonna reread this at some point, but I'm really excited that the spines will match. I guess I just thought it was fun. Um, next up, I picked up The Shadow of the Wind, which is my book club's 
April book pick. So I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. It's one of the, it's on the longer side of books that we've read for the book club. So I'm really excited to just tuck into it. And I think I might try to break it up over the month instead of just reading it in like three days, right? So I might try to like start it this weekend and then just kind of chunk it up over the next few weekends before our live show. But really, really excited for this one. And from what I understand, it's right after World War II and a bookseller's son finds this book called The Shadow of the Wind. And he thinks it's amazing, incredible writing. And so he goes to find other books written by this author. And he finds out that people are destroying all the books by this author. And so he's trying to figure out why they're destroying it and how to save the literature. And that's the extent of what I know. It says an epic story of murder, madness, and doomed love. So really excited for this. And I love that it is this beautiful, you know, just like super used copy. You know, I love a good used copy. So yeah. All right, so <laughs> Parker is snoring super loud. And I know that whenever I talk about this in videos, people say, oh, I can't even hear him, but he's really snoring. So if you hear that, that's him. Anyway, the next book I picked up was Everything I Never Told You, which I'm so excited about because I read Little Fires Everywhere last spring or last summer, I think. And I really, really loved the writing. I remember thinking at first, like the first few chapters, I was like, okay, like, what is the story? Where is this gonna go? And then it like, right around the third waypoint, it really picks up in this like beautiful, like wave almost like this, like, there's this ebb and flow of drama and it's just, it was so, so good. So the back of everything I never told you says, Lydia is dead, but they don't know this yet. So begins this exquisite novel about a Chinese American family living in 1970s small town, Ohio. Lydia is the favorite child of Marilyn and James Lee, and her parents are determined that she will fulfill the dreams they were unable to pursue. But when Lydia's body is found in the local lake, the delicate balance, balancing act that has been keeping the Lee family together is destroyed, tumbling them into chaos. Oh my God, it sounds like a mystery. It sounds devastating. It sounds like there's gonna be a lot of grief and a lot of pain. So I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book. And I already really loved the writing in Little Fires Everywhere. So I cannot wait to get to this. Super excited that I found this. Okay, the last used book I was able to pick up was Just Kids by Patti Smith. Whenever I see people's lists for like their favorite memoirs, Just Kids is like right at the top of so many lists that I've seen. So I'm so excited to get to this. One of my really good friends, August, absolutely loves this book. I think she rereads it every year. So I can't wait to get to it. And I've just seen it around so many times that I just, I'm so, so excited. So those are the used books that I picked up. But then the final book that I bought was Minor Feelings by Kathy Park Hong. I am so excited that I was able to find a copy of this. And I actually saw it on a list made by Taryn from Mentally Booked on Instagram. I've talked about her before on this channel. I love her Instagram so much. I think she's so creative and just super wonderful and sweet. And she did this thing where she did like, Book, re book recommendations based on zodiac signs and for Pisces, which is what I am, Minor Feelings was on there. So I'm so glad I was able to find a copy. So I think this looks amazing. I've seen so many people talking about it and it says part memoir and part cultural criticism. This book traces Hong's relationship to the English language, to depression, to poetry and female friendship. A radically honest work of art, Minor Feelings is an utterly original exploration of Asian American consciousness. So this sounds amazing to me. I'm so glad I was able to find a copy. I love the cover so much and I've just been seeing it everywhere. So really excited to get to this. I think I might try to read it in April. This month is April. Okay, I'm gonna try to read it in April. Anyway, my friends, that is the end of this little book haul and this little book shopping video. I hope it was fun to watch and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> okay, bye.